Get it, Papa. Well, here I am. And that's not exactly how I got here, but I saw it when I did get here. And uh, I think it's always here. And for special occasions, I think you can ride around in it and stuff and look all fancy. That's, that's why I'm not in it. Anyway, uh, that's not really the reason I came over over here to Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm over here for this. Look that. Well, it's hard to see. But uh, it's the very first Lafayette, Louisiana located world steampunk exhibition. <laughs> Wait. Exposition. <laughs> I can't read. It's like two inches from my face and I can't get it right. But... Anyway, uh, I'm curious to see what this is all about because they got some steampunks in there and we're going to see what they do because uh, I've dealt with a lot of punks in my day, but um, never a steampunk. So we're going to find out. So uh, let, let's go jump into the horseless carriage here and, and ride on in, shall we? Come on, everybody. Look that. Look that. And look, that's where the uh, driver sits and he's got his gas, the gas pedal right there. There's no steering wheel, but uh, I guess you, you do that at your own risk. But uh, you've got the gas pedal, and so they can pop wheelies and stuff. And inside here, we've got enough room for comfortably four, but you could jam as many as two dozen in there. And this is, we were right over to the, look, look that. This is fancy place over here, in case y'all didn't know. Yeah, I just wandered inside. This is the... Uh, home to uh by hilton it's a little hotel here in lafayette and they got all kind of people eating breakfast and stuff so i'm not gonna bother them too much <laughs> and there's the entrance that's that's the magical portal to the uh to the exposition here and uh we gotta go see what's inside come on everybody oh and look at that. there's some stuff oh out here too they got a swimming pool. This is a pretty nice place right here. That's some uh, barbecue pits or something under there. Oh, look. They got the psych psychic uh, tarot card readings and the secret tent right here. This reminds me of, of one of the rooms in the secret looked at headquarters that I'm not allowed to show anybody. And uh, they have some a panel or somebody speaking right now. But here's some costumes and stuff. Cool, look at that. All kind of fancy stuff. They have pretty much everything you need. If you don't have a costume, you could put the whole thing together here. From from top to bottom. Oh wait, I'm looking for shoes. Uh, there's probably some shoes around here somewhere. But lots of cool hats and stuff. And look at that. That's a fancy wand holder. All kind of goodies. Look at that. Look over here. Look at that. There's going to be a lot of look that and going on. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> I just like that. <laughs> I just like that. All kind of cool pins and stuff, ornaments, 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 you know, stuff you put on yourself to make you look fancy. And this seems to be a steampunk kind of thing. All these these goggles, these like welding goggles. And they get some fancy, these are heavy. Cool. That's some heavy duty ones there. Oh, and look at some of my, my favorite TV family. This is a, a Munster's bow, that's cool. And lots of jewelry. There's some some pocket watches. All kinds of goodies to make you as fancy as you feel like you need to be. 
And here's the proprietor of this shop. It's Kyla of Kyla's Keepsakes. And that's a, the, the, that's my little drawing. the drawing oh, the cartoon flutter, version. The flutter, maybe my, my <laughs> there you go. This is me. We're out of Phoenix, actually Buckeye, Arizona now. Oh, wow. All the way from Arizona. 26 hours. Wow. That's I didn't a, drive. Drove. That, that's a, that's I a, a the journey. There. I do. I do. I, I, probably until you got to Louisiana. I don't think the roads are smooth enough to oh, allow yeah, you to. I don't know how long hopefully, though, but I actually had so all my pen work. Oh, wow. In, in a car. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. But yeah, this is our stuff, and I say 95% of it is all handmade by either myself, my husband, or people that we actually do know that we carry their work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, look, this is... I've got a steampunk one. This is a space... This is an a airship. So this okay. Is a little airship. A lot of these have gone to Bristol. Mm -hmm. But um, this is our this is the fan holders that we make. So there's this, and then you have an image here, and they're all hand sewn, and hand dyed and hand painted. Mm -hmm. And there's your fan. Oh wow! Yeah. And the great thing about this is when I have my belt on, you don't have to take your belt off to put these on. Oh, it snaps. I, I yeah. It snaps, so you can put them on your purse. Cool. I can put them on my corset if I have a ring. Mm -hmm. I can attach them to here, even though these don't open, this does, so I can just put it right there. Oh, yeah. Use my fan. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> and then close it up and actually store my fan instead of putting it, you know how many people, like your sunglasses or whatever, mm. you lose them. Yeah. It's attached. And something, something like that, those fans, all the work that goes into them, you don't want to lose that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're basically attached to you. Thanks. Look at his hat. Yeah. That's, that's a, uh, our presidential portrait that you don't see too often. But uh, he, he, he did that a lot. Squids. A very proper cat. <laughs> These are really cool. There's one that'll make you think. Well, you know, I like lots of delicious um, Mountain Dew products from time to time, but uh, if you've never seen these kind of things. This is something you can drink out of, by the way. It's like the clearer one. There's a big tall one up here, and it's tumblers. Tumblers, so you can put your drink in there and then put the top back on. And this one too, even it's got a straw, but it's got the uh, top you can put back on. But they look kind of plain until you come here. There we go. But it's on the glass and it's fused to the glass, so it's very durable. And there's the tall version. But they're custom. And you can go through a design book and pick out what you want on it. These are, these are some cool designs. And they'll print it right on the tumbler and then they put it through the fusing process. And it makes it permanent. And you have to really work at it to mess them up. <laughs> so, so that might be something for me because I tend to mess things up pretty quick. They have the whole system. They can do it right here for you, which is pretty neat. If you've never seen it, if you've seen places selling tumblers like that, it's like, well, those are all nice and everything, but these are, are custom made. They have a little chart shows you what the steps are to get one of these made for you. Go from that to that. Yeah, here's a bunch of cool things. You got your pocket watches and stuff, pendants, and a few weapons. And these are pretty cool for the proper proper folks. You got your your tea set that you can carry around with you in its own special little holster. I hadn't seen that before. 
And there's, that's a pretty massive uh, weapon right there. And some of these, they have a lot of cool details on them and stuff. And they've got the, the hats. Isn't the majority, the most common uh, steampunk head accessory is a uh, top hat. But they do have some that are more of a derby, kind of a derby shape. This is uh, one down on the end right there. It's kind of a derby. And you, you, you need goggles because uh, there's problems with that. Oh, that's a that's a gigantic gun back there. <laughs> that's cool. And of course, a lot of these people are veterans of different things. So you got all kinds of medals you can add to your costume, exploration and stuff. See the hot air balloon medal. Look, and just so you know how big they are. Here's my hand for scale. But um, and they even have uh, top hats on the medals, <laughs> like that one. And these are cool, the wings, aeronautics. Ooh, look, look at that. All kind of earrings and cameos. And, and here's the corner, corner of, of pistols, pistolas. Look at those, ready to go, ready for action. Oh, and it's a, a treasure chest full of jewels. And there's a, a lot of clothes here too. They have have vests, assorted colors and styles and shapes and everything. And shirts, complimentary shirts to go with them. And I just snuck out of there. And there's uh, this is where the presentations and stuff are done. And uh, but then on this side, there's some more boots, and I can see the back of them right here. It's like a secret thing, but watch. And here we go. Oh, yeah, they got all kind of stuff in here. Ah. It's all them, them corset things, and look, they got the fancy uh, latches on them for safety. Um, I was told that all the, the latches on these are for safety. They're not a fashion deal, it's safety. Oh, and man, it's too bad Pappy already has a hat. Because one of these, are, no, that's even too small for his head. It's a decorator hat. Oh, those are cool, cool goggles down there. Look at that. Unless, of course, you need something like that. A little gas mask deal. So you can breathe our toxic atmosphere. Hey, look, here's some more, uh, some more animals with, with fancy clothes. There's some, some more. It's all about accessories. You know, the tie clips. <laughs> They got stuff for men and women to enhance your your costumes. Well, as you see, lots of details. All the um, especially gears and watch parts, clockwork type things. That's important steampunk details. So anybody can can grow a beard or at least try to, but to make it look good, you got to have the right stuff. <laughs> so all your your beard beardy beard uh, products and. Here's some heavy duty clothing wear with uh, the giant coats, the velvet coats, like, almost like pirate coats. And, uh, but you can also be off kilter and get kilts. 
That's the thing about. Like and they have all kind of kilts. I need Alex. Not I kills. Kills. K I L Z. That's a kind of paint that you use to um, seal wood and keep um, mold and stuff from growing on things. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Kills. Um, this is kilt. The kind of um, men wear. Well, kind of. Yeah. Kind of colors and patterns, and the, the little bags that you keep keep your change in. Now this is kind of interesting because this is an old uh, deal they used to do back in the 1800s. Is make things that contain human hair, and people would make wreaths and stuff out of it, it was like like a you know, Christmas wreath, except it would be made out of hair. And uh, assuming the, the person who donated their hair wanted you to do that with it. But there's even keychains and stuff. There's some gauntlet. Oh, these are cool. You can have your journals. X, X marks a spot in case you forget. Oh, put that, keep an eye on you. Everything on my table is handmade by myself or a member of my family or a member of our group. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Some, some neat, unique stuff. She, she's not here right now, but uh, one of Pappy's friends is set to be here. Um, Pappy made friends uh, a while back at a different uh, convention. <laughs> 